Hello, you divine, infinite human being to all that is, ever has been, and ever shall be. And I'm just chilling here with the key. We're in our favorite place here in Akumal, which I am becoming a resident of. I'm buying something here. And this is the local beach, one of the one of the beaches. And Kiki just got groomed. She looks so pretty. So I just want to spend a moment saying hello and thank you, thank you, thank you to my infinite human family. Thank you for for buying the infinite human and being part of the new consciousness renaissance, reading it and assimilating it and realizing how powerful you are, which is what it's all about. Reminding us that we are divine angelic infinite human beings we are infinite and helping us to remember our connection to infinite source through which all things are possible and um i wanted to just say i know it sounds crazy it, you probably think i'm crazy if you haven't experienced it but those of you that have will understand but look what i got to do okay <laughs> into feathers 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 and wings and wings have been coming up and i've been having these so much pain in my back but i'm finally working it out and the whole thing about wings is that we really do have them we have plasma wings because as we develop our plasma body our our true cosmic rainbow plasma true body which is our our our, our body that that a, a fifth dimensional body all right that leads us out of to Tara and then on to our, you know, the seventh dimensions of Gaia and to freedom. But that is our true body. And we do have wings. <laughs> and part of, I think, the initiation of getting your wings um, is, you know, I'm just getting them. And now I'm learning how to use them, which is, you know, this huge, immense wingspan and winging it and gliding through life on your wings and um, just flying, you know, having the courage to spread your wings and fly. And that is the initiation and that is the, um, the way you, you maneuver on the 5G timeline. You fly, <laughs> you fly. And it's just so wonderful. And if anyone has read my book, they know the whole metaphor of Peter and this, my, my twin soul and Peter Pan. And Peter Pan, you know, what does Peter Pan do? He taught Wendy how to fly, you know? And that was the first uh, time I ever acted in public when I was in first grade. <laughs> I did a monologue about Peter Pan taught me to fly. So as I say, you know, I live part of the time, you know, in Mexico, part of the time in Sicily, and part of the time on Tara. I have a home there and Peter and I fly around a lot. And, you know, I'm always, oh, Peter, you just want to fly all the time. <laughs> but yeah, it's really great, you know, and that's the way we were meant to travel, to, to, to be, to fly, to glide through life, to wing it. And it's so powerful and so symbolic. So I got these feathers today. I don't know if you see them. <laughs> and, I, and, and ironically, I was in a shop and this woman stops me and she said, oh, I love your feathers. Where did you get them? I thought, you know, this is gonna look really strange when I go back to the States. I said, oh, I bought it today from an artist, you know, in Tulum. She said, oh, I tried one on and wanted to get it. And then I said, by the way, where are you from? She goes, I'm from Kentucky. <laughs> And I said, really? I'm from Lou. She was, I'm from Olden County. And she knew exactly where my family's home was, the log cabin on Log Cabin Lane in Anchorage, Kentucky. And, you know, small world. So, so you know, it's so interesting how we're all interconnected. And, um, you know, this is very beautiful. So just love, love, love to you guys um, through your journey. Uh, the tough times are good times also because that's part of the journey and teaching you to wing it, you know, so that is coming up too, you know, and I've had some tough times too, so. <laughs>
Uh, and anyway, thank you so much. If you haven't gotten my book, The Infinite Human, it's now in Spanish, it's in Italian, it's in English. And, um, you know, it really is such a powerful book. I'm just doing my newsletter now, which is about to come out the 23rd. I'm waiting for an interview to be released with uh, Carol Saunders, Reverend Carol Sanders, who does the spiritual forum. And she interviewed me and it's going to be out the 23rd. So I'm gonna put it in my newsletter. And it's very interesting, you know, we have a nice conversation. She's a wonderful gal, really enjoyed talking with her. And, um, I have, I'm going to talk about New Earth communities and the New Earth communities that are being built and uh, Christmas with Sasha Stone down here in the jungle at Bacalar and, you know, kind of uh, just go through all that I've been doing here and setting up here for the future, for the future of the planet and connecting the um, uh, 5G timelines, remembering our future, going back to pre-Atlantis before the fall into the ancient Mayan, you know, true Mayan essence and uh, remembering our future. So it's very exciting down here in the Yucatan. A lot of stuff's going on right now. A lot of really, really, uh, just there's been a release of energy. And um, part of my job was to anchor in these 5D frequencies. And when I came, I just moved through the Yucatan, you know, with with the uh, Cristala, you know, the Ka Ra Ya Sa Ta uh, energy spinning, spinning around and, and just really moving the energy, connecting it to its future, true future, Antara and Gaia. And now that that's, I laid the foundation, um, I've got a few more, uh, about a week or two here until mid-February, and I go to Sarasota to the Light Consciousness Expo, but now I'm seeing the results. I'm kind of stepping back and just watching <laughs> the wake of it. Today there was this huge fire in the middle of Tulum and it mushroomed up with black smoke. It looked like I was saying Hiroshima or something, you know, atomic bomb went off. And as I was driving into Tulum and running the frequencies, I kept hearing sirens move you know, and the fire uh, engines were running past me, you know, coursing past me and I was like, okay, what's going on now? And sure enough, I was taking Kiki to the, this new groomer and it was right beside the fire. And I was like afraid to leave her, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, you know, is, the, is, is it gonna burn up while I while I, I was going to get some body work done? So, um, and sure enough, they lost power because of the fire. But um, what's happening is there's been so much now, thank God there's not 5G here, so the AI's not here, but there's been the ancient, uh, it goes all back to the sacrifices, of course, with the Mayan rituals, you know, with the Chichen Itza, the blood sacrifices. And then we have the cartels set with their blood sacrifices and their gang wars and all that miasmic, um, you know, violence and blood sacrifices that have actually been festering and, and, and lodged inside the earth. And as the earth ascends, with the help of us grid workers who are, you know, helping to align and stir up the energies in, align them to the 5D frequencies, that all that guck, that goo, that black tar, that, 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 that and, and the, those um, miasmic um, phantom uh, violence, uh, you know, uh, loose, uh, icky stuff <laughs> technologically the icky stuff you know and the violence in the people and the earth is releasing and we saw it come out of Tulum it was amazing I saw it happen in my Mahawal where I was too um, and I had to get out of there because I was like left it behind because it was all coming out you know like pus from a, a, a sore and you know I see it it's all coming out here the um, the the uh, military is everywhere but what they're doing is they're cleaning out all this this uh, these drug cartels and stuff so it's being cleansed and the way is being prepared for those co-creators of the new earth for those of us who are being called to this area so if you feel called to this area stay tuned make sure you subscribe to my website www.infinitehuman.com i'm going to give you the energetic lowdown on what's really going on here in my next newsletter it'll be a blog also and uh, you know of course I, I do the videos from time to time when i feel inspired to on my youtube channel and my book and uh, i in fact the 
um, newsletter is excerpts right out of my book and I talk about how my book I thought I'd just write it and go out and promote it or something you know but oh no gracias but oh no I have to live it now and part of it is I talk all about the co-creators of the new 5D Earth so I'm here you know, laying the foundation, moving through, you know, going over these cement blocks in the middle of these highways in the middle of nowhere that are called Tope, having my car and my whole body being shaken into the chiropractor every day this week almost. And uh, dealing with these like horse flies that are like tenacious, you know, parasitic flies and dealing going through the jungles with merchetes and you know just <laughs> and the last place i was was three flights up like in a bell tower no uh no elevator and i have these huge suitcases because i've been living in out of a suitcase for for five months so anyway it's not been easy but i am doing the groundwork that's my job laying the foundation for the new communities and i'm going to talk a lot about how they're going to how they can succeed because it's going to have to be a major leap in consciousness and it's not going to happen the way we think it is you know just oh i'm going to be part of this community you know because those communities have not worked out and they've been happening since the 60s N none of them have have worked out so i think we are going to be working out having them work out now but they're going to come from within out they're going to come organically and they're going to come from people just heeding the call and coming down here and feeling like they're supposed to be part of it and i'm going to create kind of a like a, a little echo resort place where people can get a sense of it but still have creature comforts because it might sound romantic you know living in a little hut tiki hut like this but guess what you know when <laughs> <laughs> you, you do like to have some, uh, you know, electricity and, and, and internet from time to time, believe me, because I've been out there without it. So, you know, I'm going to kind of create a space, a sacred space where people can, sorry, I got my coconut here. <sighs> Real coconut water. Where people can come, acclimate, biosync, you know, kind of start getting into the rhythm of things and start, and that's kind of like a stepping off place. So then if they want to move here and um, I feel called to start being part of creating these beautiful, they're, and they're coming up all over, echo communities where, you know, you, there, people have their little Tamasca, which is the sweat lodge. They have their little Tilapa gathering place where they can come and do their rituals and their yoga and their women's circles. They have their little uh, fruit trees that are growing all over so you can just pick out a mango or papaya so that those are the structures that I'm feeling called to, to, to start you know by buying up just jungle land and kind of creating that and in in creating a structure that people can step into so we'll see I don't know it's all you know unfolding I always say I just work here but it's really exciting so um, please uh, if you this you know stirs your heart your cosmic heart subscribe to my channel uh, my subscribe to my channel but uh, my website www.infinitehuman.com just you know subscribe there and you'll be up to date with everything that's going on love you guys and thanks again for me and kiki kiki's tired for being part of our infinite human growing infinite human family ciao for now